What needs to be done in your thoughts, Congressman? Well, first of all, my thoughts about Hamas and those who sympathize with Hamas in the United States, they're sympathizing with subhuman life forms. These, these uh, Hamas terrorists are so brutal and so without uh, humanity. Uh, that's what they're doing. They're the ones that are, are uh, fueling this. They're the ones that deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth. And quite frankly, um, I have very little sympathy because, uh, you know, within Gaza itself, uh, the people who were there overwhelmingly voted to put Hamas in charge a number of years ago. And this is what you get. And Hamas has absolutely no remorse. And uh, I, I think what needs to happen is, uh, is this administration needs to stand down from its ceasefire talk. It needs to stop putting conditions and constraints on Israel and let Israel defend itself. There is no better military force outside the U.S. military force than the Israeli defense forces for being able to go in and take care of their nation. And But we are hindering it because of uh, the Democrat Party's uh, allegiance to the Palestinian leftist uh, who support Hamas. And that needs to stop today. Yeah, they certainly seem to be uh, pushing Israel to fight with one arm tied behind their back, it seems. Uh, I agree with you, Congressman. I want to switch gears because I want to get to a couple other topics with you. The border, uh, something you know all too well. Of course, a record number of people on that terrorist watch list uh, have gotten arrested. Uh, it's 169 individuals. Uh, look at just the number skyrocketing compared to years before. And yet, this was stunning to me. Uh, Alejandro Mayorkas, the Homeland Security Secretary, who's still there, uh, there was a memo that just came out that he sent out. This is shocking. In the middle of all this, it's instructing Border Patrol agents to avoid misgendering illegal migrants. Um, he's asking for more money. Should he get it? And does this just show where his priorities are? Can you imagine border agents? I know you speak to them often. I do too, Congressman, to say, uh, wait a minute, you got a flood of people crossing the border, but make sure you use the proper pronoun. Yeah, this, this guy is so out of touch with reality. He wants us to give him more money to so he can facilitate uh, people coming into the country and dis burst them throughout the country. He, he doesn't even know how many people are coming in between the ports of entry who are getting away. By the way, they admit to 1.75 million. They won't admit to any more than that, but the number is probably twice that. And then they, they cop to the figure of 2.25 million people that they've released that they've encountered. So Rita, you've got people that they aren't they can't fully vet because if you if you don't have access to some nations some other nations data and most nations don't keep good data like we do then you have no idea whether this is a terrorist or not and he has the audacity to do two things to put out this touchy feeling woke crap in the middle of this and then still say hey we need more money and i got to tell you it, it, there should be no money or outside of our most essential uh, government needs until they give us some measurable metrics showing that they're actually reducing yeah. Great the, the, points. The right. Great points. And real quick, I want to get also, because there's a lot of stuff happening, as you know, there, too, uh, onto the impeachment inquiry into President Biden. This week, um, your committee uncovered, it was an email from 2018, in which a bank regulator for Hunter Biden flagged his accounts, saying there was such unusual activity that he could be compromised. Is this a smoking gun? And where is that headed? Real quick, Congressman. Well, that I, I never call anything a smoking gun, but that is damning evidence against the Biden family uh, corruption practices. And I can tell you, we can trace that money from the five million right into forty thousand dollars going to Joe Biden's personal bank account. So yeah, it's pretty damning right there. And even the bank examiner saying, "Hey, they're not selling anything. There's no loan documents. This money is just appearing uh, from China."